What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and in this video we're going to try to take my GR86 that I've built and try to outrun the, the new Honda Civic Type R. new to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking it out get everyone up to speed 22 gr86 with me in the car it weighs 2850 horsepower to the wheels makes 224 horsepower on e85 has header exhaust intake um, coilover sway bars quite a bit of aero and um, the tire is on a 255 3518, it's the RE71 RS, super fast tire. My journey so far is really just driving this car as fast as I can. That's really all I care about. But in that process, I love to try to outrun cars that are faster than this on paper. So Type R, Mustangs, 370s, Camaros, anything with just more power that just should outrun this car and i'm just hoping with some of the experience that i have uh the car that's pretty well set up uh, a decent street tire and i'm hoping to run with the big boys so.
want you to pay close attention to this next scene. Look at the cluster. Now, really quick, uh, without going you know, down a huge rabbit hole, the car was tuned on pump gas and then E85. Maps one and two, pump gas three and four, E85. We started to build and work uh, the file for map one, not me, but the tuner. And then uh, map two is, it's called pump gas plus, you know, the extra no lift shifts, two steps, uh, stuff like that. Map three is E85 and four is E85 plus. But when we try to, you know, I guess send the file or to kind of copy and paste and build off of map one, two, three, the red line didn't carry over. The red line on my pump gas map, map one, it goes to 75. Well, map three only goes to 7,000. And it's so, so when I hit the rev limiter, it's such a, it, it, you don't even know. It just like kills the car. You'll see the tack in sport mode. And then as soon as I hit that rev limiter, it kills the car, throws it into like, well, I don't know what it's doing. But through that whole process, when it's changing the tack, like you'll see now in this clip, there's no power. Like I'm still flat, wide open, and you can hear the RPMs. Like I'm, it's, I'm still giving it throttle. As soon as it switches back over into sport mode, then power comes in. And it really, really, it, it slowing me down and it's killing time. Now I'm not making that as an excuse, um, but I just, I kind of want you guys to kind of see what I'm talking about. And listen to the, the RPMs and you can hear the exhaust note. Um, come in, come in and then boom, it, it really picks up. As you can tell, I tried to follow him and I really wasn't making up a whole bunch of ground. I wasn't really railing him in and he wasn't really pulling away. So it seems like so far the cars are equal. So let's see what it looks like when he follows me.
is it. Really quick, I gotta give a huge shout out to Jose, which, uh, long story short, he was an instructor of mine years ago when I had my 2020 Mustang uh, PP1 car. And um, really cool guy, uh, super nice car. He also has a YouTube channel, uh, I'll post it up somewhere here, and uh, it's club version. And um, his car ran a 144.8, I believe, and I ran a 145.2. So less than a half a second, that's how close we were. Um, I would love, because he, he's, you know, he's an instructor, I mean, he knows that track, he's been tracking it for years, he's got a really good, uh, capable car. His car is bone stock, by the way, if you are wondering. Um, I want to bring him to Sebring to where he doesn't know the track as well as I do to see if I have the advantage there. Plus, uh, Sebring has a lot more corners to straight, that ratio. So, I don't know, it'd be cool. Maybe in a future video we can uh, do that one day. Um, also, comment down below. Let me know if you picked up on that weird kind of cluster, rev limiter deal. Um, eventually the car is gonna be retuned and I'm just waiting for updates so hopefully we can solve that issue. Like, I want a hard cut. Like, I wanna be able to hear me hit the rev limiter and like blow out a flame or something. But I don't want it to just kill power and you know it, it does slow me down when i do that same when i hit the traction control when i really freak out traction control i might as well just coast and take my foot off the gas because it it will not accelerate and if you have one of these cars you know exactly what i'm talking about um eventually when i get comfortable you know familiar with the track um i'm just running with everything off and i'll just send it but um uh, that's it. That's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget uh, like and subscribe comment down below. We'll see you in the next one